Let me get this out the way before I forget, bro. Shout out to Javante Davis, man. I told you my boy was about to sleep, Leo, didn't I? I'm telling you, bro. I'm so happy for that boy. Not even just for Tank, but for the sport of boxing, bro. That was the best $75 I ever spent on a pay-per-view, dog. I am so satisfied, bro. Four bouts, four knockouts, bro. I'm talking about everybody was getting slumped that night. You normally don't see that in boxing, bro. You ain't seen that in boxing in a long time. And a lot of UFC fans have a big gripe with boxing because they feel like, oh, we want to see knockouts, and we only see knockouts in MMA. Four bouts, four knockouts. Boxing is back, bro. Boxing is back, man. Shout out to Tank Davis. And shout out to Leo Santa Cruz, though, bro, because he was giving my boy problems for a minute. You can't even lie. You see the war scars, dog. You see the battle scars. Tank Davis got a swollen up face right now, bro. Black eye and everything. Leo was giving him problems, but at the end of the day, that boy too big. That boy too big. Who wanna watch me struggle to build a gaming PC? So, finally done with my first game in PC, man. I'm so happy, bro. Things are moving so smooth already, bro. I've been rocking with this little dinosaur over here for a long time, bro. And even with all the upgrades I made to it, it still ain't running half as fast as this little beast that I just built right here, man. I'm gonna do a quick little rundown of the specs real quick before we get into it, man. So I decided to go with the Republic of Gamers motherboard to start off with. It's uh, called a ROG Strix, I believe it is. It's a pretty sophisticated piece of equipment, man. The total amount of RAM that it can handle is 64 gigs, which is... <sighs> That's a lot, bro. That computer that I got in the corner, can only read four this one can read 64 and I'm telling you man it's moving at the speed of light right now and I only got one 16 gig RAM stick in it right now I actually struggled with the RAM for a little while the first brand of RAM I bought didn't even work I ended up getting the Patriot Viper RAM stick and it's moving good so I'm gonna go ahead and get three more of them things when I get ready for my storage, I have a one terabyte SSD and a one terabyte HDD that I actually pulled from that computer over there. That was one of the upgrades that I made. And I figured, okay, let me just pull it over here because I really don't plan on doing anything but just storing information on there because I plan on having some pretty big files. So I think I'm gonna be good with two terabytes. And for the processor, I decided to go with the Ryzen 3 with Radeon graphics. The reason I did that is one definitely the price i only spent a hundred dollars on that but with this thing right here i can actually watch 4k videos with no problems no skipping no no lagging no nothing smooth straight through so i may not even need a gpu 
because I don't plan on doing any gaming on there except for the game that I'm building but we'll see though the only issue that I have right now is I need a new monitor as you can see over there I'm working on an HD TV right now but I still want that double screen setup because I didn't got used to it and it's hard to work without having a double screen setup so I'm actually have to find me another monitor that's you know compatible with this because even with an adapter I still couldn't get that thing to work so it's, it's time for an upgrade but anyway I think y'all boys came here to see where I'm at on this video game in my last video one of the problems that I mentioned was that I was having a hard time finding out how to get my players to focus on each other. They was just looking at the sky, walking left, walking right, but their movement was not based on each other. That's a thing of the past now, boy. They looking at each other. They locked in. Come on, man. Square up. Ah, ah, square up now, man. They, they looking at each other now, man. They focused. They locked in. They locked in. But I'm still having some issues. Last video, I was telling y'all how I got my damage animations on point and the knockout animation, and something happened that I don't quite know yet, but uh, it don't work no more. I can just punch right through them and nothing happens now, so I gotta figure that out now. But the good news is, I did figure out the ragdoll mechanic, so instead of playing a knockout animation, he just ragdolls. And it's the funniest shit in the world. <laughs> it's hard not to play with it. You know how it is, man. If you start playing around with ragdoll mechanics, you got to do the goofy stuff eventually, man. So I was in there for like a couple hours just dropping him out of the sky, making him bounce off the stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's the funniest shit in the world. One of the biggest problems that I'm having right now is trying to figure out when to use a rigid body and when to use a character controller. I'm having problems with them both. Whenever I use a character controller, my players react perfectly to the boundaries that I've set by the ring ropes. But the only thing is when a knockout comes, I turn off the animator to create that ragdoll effect. But the problem is when there's a character controller activated and the animator gets disabled, it just flings the player across the screen. Totally unrealistic. It's funny, <laughs> but it's unrealistic. And I was able to solve that problem by turning the character control off and just using the rigid bodies from the rag doll. But the thing is, when I take the route of not using the character controller and just letting the players move by their rigid bodies, now they can just walk through everything. So the boundaries aren't even set anymore. They can walk right through the ring. They can walk through walls. And I'm still trying to figure that out. I've literally tried everything, bro. I've tried changing the settings on the capsule colliders. I've tried changing the settings on, on the colliders on the ring itself. The only colliders that are really doing their job is the floor itself. They don't fall through the floor, but they can still walk out of the ring, though. The only thing I haven't tried is actually coding in a boundary. But I don't really want to go that route because I feel like it's going to create a problem in the long run. Because one of my next goals in this project is to actually make the ring interactive. Meaning that I actually want to make the ropes flex so they can lean on the ropes and all that stuff right there. And I feel like if I manually code in a boundary, it's going to interfere with that because they're not going to be able to interact with the ropes the way that I want them to. But I'm very optimistic right now, man. Everything is going good and the fact that I got them focusing on each other big milestone it's gonna make the next few steps of this project a lot easier man so my next goal as far as the players go is i actually do want to differentiate head shots and body shots so what i'm gonna have to do is try to figure out how to make some kind of code to make their hands actually aim for the head of their opponent and when i press a certain button it'll modify that punch to aim for the body that should be pretty simple but you know i'm a beginner but we good right now y'all everything going according to plan Everything is going according to the schedule. Make sure you follow me on Instagram if you want to see small updates on what I'm doing, man. I may post a little something every now and then to give y'all a little bit of teaser before I put these huge videos out like this. But yeah, man, that's it for the video, man. I hope y'all boys enjoyed this, man. If you did, leave a like. It does help the channel grow, and it will help this game gain exposure, man. We trying, we trying to do big numbers, man. Big numbers, dog. But yeah, man, subscribe to the channel if you're new, man. And I'll see y'all boys in the next video. Peace. Couple bands make me think I'm in the socket. Ain't fucking chopper, I'ma hit him with a rocket. Nonsense, nonsense.
nonsense Senorita, help me come up on the profit But the devils and the demons try to stop it Hey, you can hate me, but you love how I rock it Yeah, do this nigga, man, no He act like he's sliding, the nigga say you can go